Well, welcome back to my kitchen. It is, uh, well, it's currently the holidays. It is the holidays. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone is currently in a really blissful state. You know, maybe with some good food or alcohol or both. Maybe next to a fire, eating a bowl of cereal or a bowl of ice cream followed by a bowl of cereal or two bowls of cereal on top of your head with straws going down but then the cereal couldn't get through, so you're just drinking milk. Never mind, scratch that. I hope you're having a good time during the holidays. And I wanted to make a holiday, sort of a holiday video for you today. This will be actually my last video of the year, so I'm excited to finish strong, attempt one more solid recipe before we call it, and it's 2020 and the decade is over. This is my final attempt at doing good cooking. Yeah, I never really thought to make something like this until a special someone, Jenna, uh, told me that she really wanted me to make one for her. She has told me over and over again that a lentil loaf uh, or some sort of meatloaf substitute is something that she's wanted for a long time and really hasn't gotten, whether it's been making it or buying it, eating it at a restaurant, whatever it is, she has craved that for kind of a long time. So I figured last recipe of the year, let's do this one for Jenna. So I looked around on the internet and I found a couple different recipes and I'm gonna do kind of what I do a lot of the time is I'm going to piece together a number of different recipes to make my own recipe. So I'm taking a little bit from one and a couple of the methods and ingredients from another and we're gonna make our own Aries mess of a recipe, our messipe. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm actually excited because Jenna has raved about like meatloaf and lentil loaf uh, for so long that, I mean, it's gotta live up to the hype, right? Well, I hope it does. Anyway, whether you wanna make a loaf alongside me or you wanna be a loaf on the couch, join me in this journey to make a loaf for Jenna. So I have taken the time to actually sort of portion out and put together the ingredients we're gonna be needing for this recipe in an attempt to make this just a little bit less of a shit show. You're gonna need some pretty nice looking ingredients for this recipe, namely these orange, or I guess they're technically red lentils. Really like nice looking, beautiful lentils you got there. Beautiful lentils you got there, guy. You're gonna need some spices, some garlic, some breadcrumbs, mushrooms, and we're also gonna need to chop some fresh vegetables, namely our pepper, yellow onion, carrots, and celery. And I think this recipe is more or less straightforward. The first thing we're gonna do though is cook the lentils because the lentils that I have chosen, these beautiful red lentils, they are raw. Don't spill one single lentil. If you spill a lentil, the recipe's over. You can't spill one lentil. Anyway, you're gonna take about a cup of lentils. I'm thinking a cup of raw lentils will be the perfect amount to yield between one and a half and two cups of cooked lentils. So you're gonna take a cup of raw lentils and you're going to add a little bit of water and you're gonna get it to a boil and let them cook for about 15 minutes, okay? So we're gonna do that in the background here. So we're gonna take our lentils, maybe a little more. And we're gonna add some water. And we're just gonna get that to a boil so that the lentils can be cooked by the time we need to combine all of our ingredients. In the meantime, let's get to chopping. So we are going to need to dice all of these vegetables. Two stalks of celery, two carrots, about a half of a yellow onion, and about three quarters of a bell pepper, I think. So let's put these aside and let's Let's skin the carrot. Is this even right? There we go. I think Jenna grew up eating meatloaf. I think that was like a thing that her family ate a lot. And I think because of that, she's had this craving for it. Whereas me, I like did not have meatloaf growing up. I don't think even once. I literally can't remember ever eating meatloaf. I know that's crazy because it's such like an American hearty dinner that families have, but yeah, I never had me love. So I feel like based on the ingredients and the fact that you put ketchup on the top, I feel like it's going to have a similar flavor profile to the meat pie, the Aussie pie that we made a couple episodes ago, um, just based on looking at the ingredients. But who knows if that's even right. Anyway, we're going to get these nice and fine. You're going to spill a bunch of carrots all over the floor. It's okay because we have little horsies that can walk around and eat them. I recommend having little horses around your house for that reason. 
How are the lentils doing? You guys boiling yet? All right, I think I can lower the heat a little bit. I don't even know how to cook lentils. I didn't read the package. Okay, I feel like we have a good amount of carrots. I'll leave these carrots on the floor for the horses. All pretty much sized appropriately. And we are going to just drop them into our veggie bowl. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. This isn't just gonna be a lentil and vegetable loaf because personally, I think that sounds kind of bland. What we're going to do is we're gonna do part lentils and vegetables and part this because adding fake ground beef that tastes this good, you really just can't go wrong with the flavor there. So we're gonna do that. So I would say if you're doing this recipe or one of the recipes I've linked, maybe just take out some of the lentils and add, I don't know, maybe a half a package of the Beyond ground beef. All right, here we go. Once again, we're gonna dice them and then we're gonna get them a little bit extra fine. Extra fine, baby. Hold on, wait, calm down. Don't skip ahead. I, I know you guys are getting antsy and you wanna skip ahead to the next step, but just wait, okay? I, I know what you're doing, okay? I heard you. This camera's got a two-way mic. I don't know how that works. Then you're gonna take the cutting board and you're gonna spin it on your finger. <sighs> ah, 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 ah. It's just like a basketball, very easy. Ah, ah. Happy holidays! Oh fuck, okay. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? We're actually gonna need two bowls for the veggies. Next, we're gonna chop this onion. How are we doing over here, lenty babies? Oh, we need more water, I think. The lenty babies were thirsty. We're gonna chop off the end. We're gonna do our little super fine dice method that I learned from the legend Gordon Ramsay. Score it on top, and then you're gonna score through the middle twice. Uno, dos, like that. Then, when you chop it, should come out as a diced onion. This, you should not feed your tiny horses. They will want to eat it, because they enjoy inflicting harm upon themselves, but don't let them. Don't trust them either. They might open your pantry, too, if you don't have that shut and locked. Oh God, it's getting emotional. Oh my God, I'm crying. I just wanna say thank you guys for a great year. <laughs> I mean, I am thankful for a great year, but I'm not crying about it. It's the onions, I swear. I feel like that would be a t-shirt at like a, I don't know, a tourist boardwalk at one of those corny t-shirt shops. It's the onions, I swear. When the clever t-shirt hits and you're on vacation. So we're gonna take about one and a half of this bell pepper, cut it hot dog style or lengthwise, and then we are gonna dice it. Okay, this is actually a satisfying recipe to, to prepare because, I don't know, I don't really cook, I don't know, in general, a lot of vegetables. I probably cook way less than I should be. Whoa, calm down, lenty guy. Lenty baby's just getting a little wild over here. All right, we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Anyway, what I was saying is, I don't really eat enough vegetables, nor cook enough vegetables, but when I do cook like really colorful, beautiful vegetables, it's super satisfying to me to see the colors. I don't know. It's sort of like when you eat Skittles, Except this rainbow that you're tasting isn't the, the, uh, the diabetes kind. Who dropped all these carrots? Now it's about time to saute our vegetables, which includes our onion, bell pepper, celery, carrot, diced mushrooms, and after a few minutes, garlic as well. So let's get sauteing. You know I had saute it to them, oh my God. I'm just gonna quickly dice up these mushrooms because I did not do that yet. Uh, you're gonna wanna get these fine as well, but keep in mind that the mushrooms will shrink a lot. Mushrooms are all about puffing their chest, man. When you put a little heat under them, they shrivel up. Mushroom masculinity, oh my God. What am I even saying right now? Anyway, we are going to drop a little bit of olive oil into the pan, let it heat for a second, and then we're gonna add our onions these are done. Mushrooms are finished. Let's toss our veggies in. Now we just gotta get these nice and soft and cooked. So off we go with the sauteing. Okay, well, this would not be in Aries Kitchen without a major audible, and I'm calling a major audible right now. Here's what we're gonna do. 
Okay, instead of actual oats, I've replaced this with oat flour. And what that will do is that will make it so we don't even have to use the food processor, which I was planning on using and not looking forward to because that's a whole mess. And who wants to food process all these beautiful ingredients? Like we've already finely chopped everything. I feel like that would be a bit overkill. Right now we're just finishing up the saute on these vegetables, they're getting pretty soft. Uh, while that was cooking, I prepared some of the Beyond Ground Beef and added a little bit of barbecue sauce for some flavor. So in a second, we're kind of just gonna put all of the ingredients in this bowl and get our hands dirty uh, and sort of just shape the loaf that way. Um, I don't feel like we need to put anything in the food processor. So we're gonna use oat flour as our binder. We have breadcrumbs as well. Oh, we should add our garlic about now. Let's add the garlic. And once the garlic is done cooking in a couple of minutes, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. And it's great. Also, I have prepared this glaze, I think is what it's called. It's ketchup, barbecue sauce, balsamic vinegar, and oh, it's maple syrup. And this is what we're gonna glaze the top of the loaf with. So save that for later. So here we have our mixing bowl. We are gonna add our vegetables. In addition, we are now gonna add some flax meal, some parsley, salt and pepper, some breadcrumbs, and a little bit of oat flour. We're gonna start with a little bit. Also the uh, tomato paste and a little bit of ketchup. Again, definitely measure everything very carefully. We are going to use our spoon here, spatula, to get everything homogenous. It looks a little bit in need of some flour, so we're gonna add some more oat flour. I would say add little by little with the oat flour. Dude, this is smelling really good. The beauty of this recipe for me is I have literally no expectations, good or bad. I don't know what this is gonna be like, so if it's even remotely decent, I'm gonna be fucking happy, dude. I'm gonna be fucking happy, dude. Also, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Do it now, do it new, faster, faster, do it now. Looks like it needs a little more flour. It's not quite like a dough yet. Like, I think the only purpose of having the food processor in that recipe is literally to make oats and oat flour, in which case, why don't we just use oat flour? Then we don't need a food processor, dog. We don't need it. This is looking good. Again, if you're gonna make this at home, highly recommend using some Beyond Ground Beef just to add to the meaty flavor that you're looking for with the loaf. And if you don't want that, then listen, I'm not gonna yell at you, I'm not gonna force you, just go to your room, you're in time out. You're grounded, go to your room, go. Okay, this looks to be like a good consistency. I kinda wanna taste a little bit. Oh, that's good. Woo! Why is that good? That's like so delicious, oh my God. Oh, I didn't even add the lentils, I'm dumb. Okay, add the lentils to our lentil loaf. Actually, I don't even know what to call this. Is this a lentil loaf or is this like a fake meat loaf or both? Or is this a holiday loaf? Or is this a Jenna loaf? What is the name of this? Guys, what do, we, what do we call this? I am happy with the consistency. This is very much what the recipe says it was going to be in terms of a little bit doughy, but enough to mix around and then shape into a loaf. But boy, that is like really tasty. I think it's gonna be good. Just a tad more salt. Is it time? Is this too hot? I think it's too hot to like mold, but maybe not. This is like pretty damn hot. Well, whatever, let's just, let's just get our hands dirty, y'all. So you're gonna shape this into, I guess, like an oval shape. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this is like really looking the part and it's kind of beautiful, dude. Okay, so once you're done admiring this monstrosity, uh, we are gonna take our glaze and you're gonna take a food brush or a regular paint brush, just maybe try to get the paint off of it first. And we are going to just nice and easy glaze the top of our beautiful loaf, dude. Are you, I'm so excited right now, hello? All right, so we're just about finished with 
the glaze process. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for I think like 15, 20 minutes. And then it's like done, then we're, then we're gonna eat. Also, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, Jenna doesn't know I'm making this. She's asked me and asked me to make her a lentil loaf and I decided to surprise her with it. So when I call her in here to taste it, I think her reaction is gonna be the best part of the video because I know she's gonna be excited about it. I think it's super adorable the way Jenna gets excited about her childhood favorite foods. She's just like a little kid. And so hopefully we can get her nice and giddy. Anyway, here's our meatloaf, vegetable loaf, Christmas loaf, holiday loaf, Jenna loaf, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. Here's our loaf. So we're gonna put this in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna dig into it. All right, get your forks, get off the couch. Dinner's served in 15 minutes. You better be at the table, or else you're grounded. Oh wait, you're already grounded. Please come to dinner. All right, so it has been there for just about 35 minutes. I think it's time we get it out of there. Oh my God, look at this. This looks insane. Okay, this looks really good. This looks like a meatloaf, right? Looks like a meatloaf. I don't know. I'm really excited. I think Jenna will be excited. Uh, I think it's time we call her in here. Jenna, it's time. What is that? Is that a lentil loaf? <gasps> Wait, you made me a lentil loaf? Yeah. Aww. Just like you asked. <laughs> oh, I thought you never wanted to make a lentil loaf. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, I know, they're really good, I've been telling you. You been had been telling I me. I know. Should I cut a piece for you? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what's on the outside? Glaze. Have mm. you ever had one? I've never had. I'm telling you, they're I'm, really good. It's like a meatloaf, right? Yeah, but it's Ooh. not meant to be like, I'm sure you, did you use like fake meat or did you use lentils? I'll tell you what I used after you taste it. really hot. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna try yours? Yeah, I don't have a fork. Mm. Is it good? Are you happy? <laughs> it's so good. Right? I've been telling you. With some mashed potatoes and like green beans. It's really good. It's like a little normie meal. It is a normie meal. It's Doesn't really it good. Make you feel like mad normal. Yeah, it makes you feel like I should be sitting down watching TV in front of with a TV dinner. Like this is this is TV dinner. This is TV dinner. Vegan. I put Beyond Meat. It's so good. I put lentils, Beyond Meat, carrots, celery, mm -mm. onion. It is really good. Right, I told you. Mhm. Mm Truly, this is like such a perfect little like Christmas meal. Mhm. Mm you make it again Christmas Day. Okay. <laughs> was it hard to make? Oh, it was medium. It was like. You know, I, I didn't mess up. You have to basically saute the vegetables so they get soft. Then you combine that with all the sauces, spices, and oat flour mm -hmm. in a bowl with your hands, and then you just shape it into a, a thing. But it was asking me to use oats and put it in the food processor. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna use oat flour and shape it with my hands, and it worked out. Yeah, I mean, so they want you all the vegetables to be like pureed in the food processor? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind it at all, like where you can see the vegetables. I think because they want it to be like an actual loaf, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But this is kind of like rustic and fun. Rustic. And it takes none of the flavor away. Are you excited? Uh, I'm so happy. What's in the glaze? It is, um, it's ketchup, balsamic vinegar, barbecue sauce, and a little bit of maple syrup. <laughs> That's like your language, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God. It's a beautiful looking food. It's like, mm -hmm. it's really nice. I was like the little kid that when my mom made meatloaf, I was excited because it was like, I don't know, I just thought it was really good. Put ketchup on it. 
I know you've told me so many times that you, that was like your childhood. It was good. Happy I meal. Know. Yeah. I mean, it is bomb, but it tastes really good. Right? But it has such like a, a dinner feeling. Yeah. This is a really dinner dish. Right? Really savory. Mm hmm. Really just like hearty. It's not like having like a burger or, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. It's a dish. It's not just like a, a food. Yeah. Really good. Sometimes when you're a vegan, you don't always have like a, a dish, you know? It's like some foods. Mm hmm. And this is really like a, a meal. Like this is the kind of thing that if you go to a vegan restaurant, they would be like, here's a, it's not like a, some kale in a bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some It's its own nuts. hearty meal. It has an identity. Yeah, it, it has an identity. Well, Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm so happy, Julie. I can't believe you did that. It's so sweet. Well, you asked me to enough times. <laughs> Are you glad you made it? Yeah, really. It's good, right? No, I'm not even joking. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like it this much. So filling, so good, so yeah. tasty, so comforty. So comforty. Mmm. Mm. Not allowed. Not allowed. 10 out of 10. Damn, 10 out of 10? This is like what I want for Christmas. Well, it's Christmas. Mm. That was so nice of you to make something that I wanted to eat. I'll eat anything, so you just tell me anytime I'll make something for you. Babe, I'm telling you, mashed potatoes with this, some gravy, some green beans, like Hi, it's Peach. Christmas. Well, she's losing it. This how I'm going to feed this butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this butt ain't gonna feed itself. I know. Oh, Julie, thank you. Mm -hmm. This tastes so good. I'm glad you like it. I love it. I definitely recommend you make this. If you feel like making some food, even if you never tried a vegan loaf or a lentil loaf or whatever, it's really good. Like the flavors are bomb. It's a really good winter food. It is a good winter food. If you're cold and you're in your jammies like me and you're just trying to chill, this is it. Mm hmm. And it's finger food. Anything that's finger food is you eat it with your fingers. Nice. Oh, it's so nice. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I don't think you know how happy this made to me. I do. That's why I made it. Oh. Anyway, I hope you guys have a really wonderful rest of your holidays. Thank you for watching this video and all the other videos that I made this year. It's been an exciting year. Switching over to doing cooking content has been a lot of fun for me. So I appreciate you guys watching and your support. And I hope uh, you can get something out of this one because I honestly think this is a fun, not only hearty and like winter recipe, but it's a fun like holiday family recipe. So if you wanna cook with someone, give this one a shot. But it's also mad practical. Yeah. You make one of these, if you live alone, you can eat it in little portions. If you live with a couple people, It'll feed you for a little bit. Yeah. It's like a very practical meal. Yeah. How bad is it for you, Julie? Because it tastes really good. So it's, it's not bad. bad. Not bad. What are the macros like? More carbs than protein, but it's like 360 calories per serving. There's six I'll servings. Take it. Six servings a loaf. Well, I'm gonna eat more than I should of this loaf now, and we're gonna hang out. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I'll Happy see you holiday. in a couple of weeks. And take a little time off for the holidays. We'll be back in the new year with some new recipes to screw up, right? Do it to them. 2020, the year of doing it to them again. Hindsight is 2020, but so is the future because we're going to do it to them. <laughs> there you go. All right, bye. Oh.